Hello, everyone. Welcome to the training sessions. Pass with octopus in three minutes. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through build your first workflow. Auto detection looks quite amazing since octopus detects all what we want and it generates a workflow for us. But it only works for well-structured pages like a list of products or a structured table. And there could be some cases that it does not detect what you want, or the web page layout is too difficult for it to detect. But even if auto detect fails, we can still use the powerful advanced mode to manually create the workflow from scratch by using simple clicks and points. October's advanced mode can truly uncover the world of possibilities for you to scrape information from nearly any web pages. With advanced mode, you can extract data like text URL, image URLs, and HTML codes. Or you can interact with web pages to perform complicated actions such as logging authorization, keyword searching, and switching through a drop-down menu. Advanced mode is quite flexible to let you adjust your workflow and reformat the data. Okay, now let's get started. Let me start a new task with a URL. And here we come to the task editing workspace. We can see the web page is loaded in the building browser. And when you move your cursor over the elements on the web page, you can see that they will be highlighted in blue. And if you click on it, the tips panel will show the options to you. For example, we select the product title. And from the tips panel, you will see four parts. On the top is a message that notifies you what element has been selected and whether there are similar elements or sub-elements found. And in the middle are the action options that you can do to the element you have chosen. At the bottom shows the HTML path of this selected element. If a target element is difficult to select with the cursor, you can click on these tags directly to uh, like locate the element. Or you can click this button, expand the selected area. For example, now the first uh, the title is selected. And if I click this expand area button, now you can see the whole product section is selected. The last one is a undo button, which helps you to just cancel the selection. This is the basic logic of manually creating the task. It's quite straightforward. You just select the data you need on the web page and then follow the instruction provided on this action tips. Every time you select an element, the tips panel will pop up with a number of options for you to choose from. Simply follow the instructions provided and choose how you'd like to proceed the selected data. For example, if you'd like to scrape the text of the product title, and we choose extra the text of the selected element. Or if we like to click on this product title to go to the linked page, we can choose click element. After learning the basic logic of how to use the tips, we will show you how to build the task to scrape data in some popular scenarios.